Hi friends, welcome to the channel Physics by IITNs where we learn physics, understand physics to crack examinations and interviews. Today we shall discuss about the alkali spectra. So well, we will discuss the nature of the alkali spectra and why we are interested uh, to study the alkali spectra and what are its features. Okay, so uh, it is very much important uh, to understand the spectra of alkali atoms because it has some certain properties. Okay, so let's discuss. First of all, we should know what are the alkali atoms. So alkali atoms are lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium and they all have ground electronic structure which consists of one electron in an S orbital outside a closed shell. So, what do we mean that by that? Suppose we, I am taking the lithium, lithium atom. So, it has 3 atomic number. So, Z is 3. So, I have to write the electronic configuration as 1s2, 2s1. So, this is a closed shell and the outermost shell is consisting of 1 electron which is in the S orbital. So, that is the thing, the 1 electron in an S orbital outside a closed shell. So, why are we are interested to study the alkali spectra? Because it has some similar features like hydrogen atom spectra. We all know that the Bama series of hydrogen atom that Bama had observed the spectral series and he named it as H alpha, H beta, H gamma lines. So, we, sh uh, we show that the Bama series consisting of different lines, they are like this way means the separation between the lines are in decreasing order so the same feature uh, we also observe in the alkali spectra they have though they are the, there are more number of series compared to the hydrogen atom but the particular series have regularly decreasing separation and converge towards the limit just like the hydrogen atom okay so that's why the similarity of the spectra uh, or similarity of the spectra to the spectra of hydrogen atom interested us or interested scientists make interested the scientists to study about alkali spectra now why is it similar because the all the alkali metals have a one easily removable valence electron outside a tightly bound core of electrons in their atoms just like lithium the example that is 1s2 2s1 so 1s2 will make the core and 2s1 that is the most outer electron and it will be revolving or it is revolving in an outer orbit okay so if you can think of that certain there will be a screening effect screening effect means that suppose you have a nucleus and there is closed shells Outer, outside the nucleus and which are closed shells okay so and there is one electron revolving suppose we are taking uh, the lithium so lithium case the nuclear uh, this is our this point is denoted the nucleus is denoting the nucleus and we have two is uh, one is two cell the one is shell is closed and then we have two s uh, in two s cell we have only one electron so the two s electron will as such it will experience uh, an effective potential which will be uh, plus e that is plus 3e will be minus plus 3e minus 2e plus 3 will be screened by this 1s2 shell means suppose why this is called screening because we use sunscreen sunscreen means it will give a layer to our skin to protect from sun so that's why it is such like it is giving a layer to the nucleus so that there is an effective potential which is experienced by this outer shell electron so that's why we can think like it is uh, this electron is experiencing a net effective potential of plus e not plus 3e so this is like a hydrogen like structure but you have to remember that the electron is, uh, orbits are not circular they are elliptical orbit so and the nucleus is situated 
in one of its foci so the electron the penetration of the electron can be possible means the electron uh, in certain uh, at certain time it is closer to the nucleus and at certain instant of time it is further from the nucleus further away from the nucleus so at further away we can the electron that is experiencing the screening effect due to this screening of the uh, outer um, the inner shell it is much much larger but whenever the electron is coming to closer to the nucleus the screening effect will be gone okay so the screening effect will be uh, will depend on the uh, degree of the penetration of the electron okay so now spectroscopy uh, spectroscopist designed the term values of the alkali atoms from different l values so earlier we discussed that the Sommerfeld model he considered there are two uh, quantization one is for the uh, orbital consideration another is for azimuthal consideration or we can write it as n and l or n or k okay so today i am denoting it as l so spectroscopic denote the term as l equals to 0 is s l equals to 1 is p l equals to 2 is d l equals to 3 is f okay so the selection rule is for delta l equals to plus minus 1 so this according to selection rule the allowed transition as for from s to p or p to s is allowed s to d is not allowed because delta l equals to plus minus 2 will be there so it is not allowed p to d is allowed and we have to remember the spectral series okay so how do you remember from p to s means np to n naught s is the principal series nd to n naught p is the diffuse series ns to n naught p is the sharp series nf to n naught d is the fundamental series how do i remember i remember the first term the p is for principal d is for diffuse s is for sharp and f is for fundamental these are the series that can be observed in case of alkali atomic spectra now we look for some lit, uh, energy levels and uh, uh, energy levels of the uh, uh, alkali atoms and their s spectrums. So look here, this is a lithium energy levels. So L equals to 0, 1, 2, 3. They have uh, divided by certain columns. So this is the 2S state because this is 1S2, 2S1. So 2S state is the ground state and since S state has L equals to 0, so only one, one two S is only one energy level. Now, two peak state you consider, uh, then the higher, higher orbitals are 1S2, 2S2, 2P6, 3S2, so you have to consider it like this way. So for 3S, then 3P, 3D, 4S, 4P, 4D, 4 4f so you consider here that there will be the certain uh, delta uh, uh, transitions and transitions are only possible from s to p or p to s so there are certain direct questions that you can be given uh, this energy levels and they will ask you which transitions are possible so i request you to look through the diagram that 3s to 2p is possible 3p to 2s is also possible 3d to 2p is possible but there is no transition of 3d to 2s so these are not possible look here only delta l equals to plus minus 1 rule is followed okay so next question next uh, we see another uh, spectrum the spectrum of sodium line so here 3s 3s is the ground state because 1s2 2s2 2p6 then 3s1 so 3s 4s 3s 3p 4s 3d 4p 5s so like that and the transition allowed transitions are here the same the 3p to 3s 4p to 3s 4s to 4p okay d to p f to d so and this in case of sodium spectra the 3p to 3s we see the d, d lines that is yellow line okay so this is the spectrum of the sodium energy levels now the what we will understand 
what is the problem with the uh, uh, with understanding the spectral lines of the alkali atoms with that present theory of Sommerfeld Bohr model because the D lines of the sodium belong to the two lines that is according to our Bohr Sommerfeld rule each lines are only having only one energy levels so the from look here from 3p to 3s transition we should get only one line so the spectrum we should get the spectral line it should only it should consist of only a single line but from a spectroscopic observation we get that the d line is not a one line it is consisting of two components one is d1 another is d2 so why is it so that was a open question for the scientist and the d1 spectral line d1 value is 5896 angstrom and d2 is 5890 Armstrong. So observations show that such double structure of the spectral lines is a characteristic feature of the spectra of all alkali atoms and so present theory need to be checked. Now it was explained by introducing the concept of electron spin. So today I shall discuss about the spectrum spectra of alkali atoms and we understand what are the series allowed for the spectral atoms at alkali spectra and what are the problems with the bohr sommerfeld theory so we need some more theory extra quantization rule to understand the spectral lines in the next lecture i will tell about the vector atom model and the normal zeeman effect thank you for watching if you find this video is useful please share with your friends and Please subscribe to the channel and we also have our telegram channel where we post our questions regularly. Please join that and have an interaction with other friends. Thank you.